last time on the Colo Show. You don't have to sit here and listen to my boring, monotone voice of blah, blah, blah. This is where Colo usually gets in trouble doing stuff like this. I'm a little too old for this kind of stuff now, but hey. Oh, I do this for you guys, not me. <laughs> I love you guys, I swear I do. Okay, what's going on guys? It's your boy Colo. We have another retail versus UA. And this one's a little interesting. When these dropped, I told my daughter if she hit on them, I'd pay for them. And what do you know? Yeah, she hit on them. So I have her pair to compare today. And man, that box really took a hit on this one. Jeez, but you already know the model about the box. I love the red and black box. I think that might be the female box. I love it. So let's go ahead and open up this beautiful pair that was sent to me as a lovely gift. You know, I don't condone the resale of all unauthentic goods or anything like that. I just get the shoe for free. They don't sponsor me. It's just a gift, a video. Boom, move to the next. All right, so we got the Nike Air on the tongue. That looks great. And you know, with this pair, they kind of like, okay, that green Nike tag, I think you guys saw that earlier. It is unfinished on the other side. They didn't put the other side on it. It's kind of weird. But... With this shoe, in my opinion, they kind of did something a little special. They threw like the red on the back. It's kind of like a Mexican Italian kind of thing. It's, I love it. And the leather they use was an interesting choice. It's like a, a supple leather I've, I've never really seen. It's, it's not the traditional supple leather that we're used to. Uh, bottom is pretty basic. They sent me white and green laces. So I'm not sure that's the right laces we're supposed to have, but we are going to figure out. Oh, whoa, magically another pair just appeared. So let's go ahead and open this pair up, which is the retail pair. It's a size 8, and this was a women's shoe, as you can see right there. And um, let's see what we got. Come on, come on, hurry up. Yeah, see, that's when I was like, the laces are different. I can understand why they gave me white, but red would have been cool too. I'm not going to use red, the green, or the white. So you guys kind of already know what colors laces I like to use lately <clears throat> sale but um the black laces look great too and I'll show you guys that later they also didn't lace them up which is standard for a Jordan 1 but my pair that was gifted came laced up and from looking at this retail pair there's really nothing different oh the wings are flappy on these two when you lace them up at the top I didn't flap them but they're flappy and see this is what I was talking about it's it's just they didn't put the other side on the back and you know I don't care about that kind of stuff not sure what that design is on the insole. And to tell you the truth, I hate pulling the insole out of sneakers. If it doesn't want to come out, I'm not going to pull it out. So it came out in this pair. Look at that hourglass back. Keep in mind that the shoe is laced. One is not laced, but they pretty much have the exact same, from what I can tell, body shape. The one on the right looks a little fatter at the bottom. It's kind of how I like her, but... Uh, look at the white and red. It's kind of off cut on the left one. No big deal. Now on the medial side, this is where you want to dial in the leather. And it looks like the one on the left has a little bit more texture. That might just be the specific batch. But both of these shoes are beautiful. I was like, eh. Of course I didn't hit on them on sneakers. I took a big fat L. But under the black light, there were different results. So I've never seen this reddish pinkish around the check. And I'm not sure it's because of the type of material they use for this glossy, almost patented Nike check. So I'm, I'm not sure. I've, I've never seen this reddish stuff. It's kind of weird. There's not very many marks that are usually the, the white pin marks. Okay, there's a little red star on the back. A little star of death. Um, there's a couple white marks there. But yeah, what what is that? It's just, you know, they just don't clean them up, I guess. I'm sure there's a cleanup process involved, but... I was a little surprised to see that. I mean, it being red. I'm used to seeing the little white marks, but not the red marks. Now, here's the retail pair. And if you look, there's just a little bit of ink on the midsole. But if you look all the way around the shoe, which I did thoroughly, there's not one little inkling of that little red mark. So maybe in retail, they're cleaning things up a lot better. I, I hardly ever see those pin marks. But if you look at my last video, the Jordan 5 Off-Whites, both Off-Whites had almost identical markings so it is what it is you guys be the judge give me a thumbs up real quick
Yo, 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 yo. So here's the deal. I'm really creasing these bad boys. Oh, well. Um, I'm starting to actually like this place. And the funny thing is, it's a really good time to be out right now. It's not exactly golden hour. It's about 3.18 in the afternoon. Somehow still good lighting. I don't know if it's the way the buildings are positioned or what. But the sun keeps coming out. It's kind of blowing the shots out a little bit. This is actually the same day as the Jordan Off-White 5 video. Change clothes. Change beanie, change shoes, obviously. If you're familiar with my content, this is the same place that Comac was in. But the same place that Comac and I was here like, you know, two days ago, so. It's like this place just has so much to offer. And this dude popped out over there. He was like, hey, did you vote? And he was like smoking pot and it kind of scared me a little bit. So I ran off and here I am. There's a lot of wall. There's a lot of graphics. Let me see what I can do. Do what I do. Give you guys the best content that I can provide. I don't know what anybody else is doing out there in them streets, but I just do me. And I appreciate you guys for messing with me, for me doing me. Yeah, me doing me, yeah. And another thing, like, there's more colorful stuff over there. I just don't want to go over there because that guy's still over there, and I'm kind of trying to do my thing. I don't know what he's doing, but I know he's going to talk to me. That's one thing. When you're out trying to get shots, you know, B-roll and all that good stuff, A-roll, um, people just want to talk to you. Like, they see you with a the camera. They get a little excited. Like, oh, you do YouTube. Oh, you do that. What do you do? And I tell them I do sneakers, and they look down at my feet. Then they're like, oh, those are some cool shoes. And then they, they kind of want to hook up and then they want to, um, uh, but it really is a cool place. I just don't want to go back by that dude because he was talking to me a little bit too much. I don't want to talk to anybody right now. I just want to make a video to give to you guys, all right? Yeah. He had a drone and he flown it from one end to the other. Whoa. And, and he's a professional photographer like you. But he had like a ten thousand dollar drone and he's out. Oh here. no, no ten thousand dollar drone here. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you could check out his work. He goes all over the <laughs> place. And he was back here? Oh yeah, it yeah. looked great. It made me look good. <laughs> and I live on the street. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you. I Have a good one. And it's H U R D. If you need to know. Okay. See, this is why I like to come outside and do reviews and not just sit at home and do them. You never know who you're going to meet. He said a $10,000 drone. How would he know that? Hey, I don't know. I'm not in the game to underestimate people and what they can do. <laughs> it is what it is. Just follow me for just follow me on IG for all the secrets. That's all I'm gonna say. Peace. <laughs>